Okay, acha tunianze officially. First of all tunafanya hii session inaitwa Fun Friday. Fun Friday tunataka ikuwe isiko official sana cuz tuna try to have fun. Tuna try kupiga story kama beshte. Tuna try kupiga story na wase tunawajua. So most of the time what tuna avoid ku kuongea English unless hakuna mtu yote kuna mtu haielewi English completely. Nakumbuka the previous one magaka they have kuongea English na it took longer ili chukua 2 hours. <laughs> you could you express haikuwa. <laughs> <laughs> Bwana <laughs> <laughs> I am an intellect bwana. I ah. don't know my, my capability. Ni sawa wewe ni intellect lakini si wa Kiingereza. No I was taking care of others. <laughs> no, 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 I was like my pets. Aya sawa. So after he uh, tuta upload kwa um, inetwaje kwa YouTube. Tukisha upload kwa YouTube tuta convert audio alafu tuke kama podcast. So you can listen to it anytime. Ukitaka. Hiyo ni sawa. All right. So um leo tuko na guest Jumalan. Mwenye session ya leo ilikuwa ask Jumalan anything. Unataka kujua je yake? And uh, anything is a very dangerous one. <laughs> Very very dangerous one. So Juma, since session pia na kwa recorded. <laughs> feel free to skip. <laughs> feel free to skip kitu haifai kusemwa. Ama trick nyingine, jibu tu yani jibu tu kitu hujaulizwa. <laughs> so kama ziki tunataka kujibu, wewe ongelea something completely different yenye hata kuna mtu alikuwa ametaja. Akoe ka calligraph. Eh? Sijui kenye calligraph alifanya lakini nitasema yeye kuwa kama yeye. Alifanya nini? Anajibu tu ojini ojio. Zero zero relief. Yeye huko na nakumbuka hiyo kitu. Mtu akikuuliza, na by the way umevaa t-shirt ya Kisumu Juma. Ni Kisumu? Eh. Hiyo ni t-shirt ya Kisumu. Na unaweza tu unatuwakilisha? Ai inabidi. Leo nimemwona wa represent. Ah nice. Sasa acha acha ni kuanzia na swali ya kwanza. Mhm. Sawa. Aha. So nilikuwa na kustock hapa na pale na angalia angalia nione kunaendelea aje. Mhm. Ni uko na excess wengi sana. <laughs> In terms of job. <laughs> oh, okay. respect other things poleni. <laughs> Ni mbona uko x wapi x wapi x wapi ziko mingi. Oh pole jaki mvue jaanza na huku. So hebu tueleze umewaka aje as in jini mbona hizo jobs zimekuwa hapa na hapa na hapa na hapa na hapa. Um so nieleze uh the, mbona nimekuwa niki switch switch ama ya yeah, wewe unaweza eleza mbona umekuwa ki switch ama ulianza na gani alafu ukaenda kwa gani alafu gani? Oh okay so yeah i think it ends 2018 2017 late um uh ilikuwa ilikuwa hii meetup ya Nairobi GDG so i walked into a talk ya Kotlin ilikuwa inafanywa na Frank Tamre so i think most of you know Frank na this other guy and it was said so said we used to work at Trigger so after the session well nilikuwa na participate kwa session so after the session wakakuja na a job offer and then uh and then uh, after all um i think like two months later i can get trigger that was in uh feb 2018 um i worked there for a year and then um i think towards end of 2018 um one day in the morning i got a call um from was from a lady so she's like uh the senior hr at uh delight alikuwa nitafuta msao ku feel like a specific role in the company so i didn't apply to actually join them uh just got a call and then you there remember when she said are you like uh, do you, are you willing to like just come over and uh, have a chat with the uh, um head of software engineering I was like no uh, i'm not looking for a job and then after the next day ilikuwa on a holiday so the next the alafio school ilikuwa na friday ilikuwa thursday so she called me again on thursday she's like uh, 
we just need someone to fill and I, I need it done by tomorrow. So nikamwambia nitakuja kesho which was on a Friday at 4 pm. So up on the end of the trigger uh like me moving from my trigger but I wasn't sure about moving to be honest. Um until I met this guy so uh who was like uh, the software engineering lead sorry like the CTO ish. So we had a chat for one hour. We didn't talk about code or anything. We just talked about cars. Um, uh, I mean, mechanical stuff. He's a name say my Land Rover son. So we talked so much about cars and everything. Then he took out a sticky notes and then he wrote he wrote down a figure that was supposed to be my salary. Um, he also mingi, and I was like, uh, uh, I I think I took that job for the money. Um, to be honest with myself, I think that was because of the money. Uh, na pia, I mean, it was like a lead role, so it was more of a challenge to me. So I think it was like something very interesting for me. So I joined d in uh, Feb again, 2019. And then worked there for one year, exactly one year, same as uh, Trigger. And then um, my dad ex, which is Branch, um, so I applied to Branch. Nikulize, Paul and Nick interrupt. I think. Um, Neza kwa ni kikuitarap tapa na pale kukuuliza cause mm-hmm. kuna tu mesema kwa yamana sana and muta neza kwa curious mm-hmm. how unafanya kazi kwa kampuni moja muta na kupigia jekutu wa kampuni ngini ya tikuja ni nini ulifanya special juu ni kushua kuna asa waneza tama ni chance kaya hiyo sana oh um, so I really don't know why but uh, I think na suspect I, I think personally for me uh, 2018 has, was like the best year for me so far uh, because I think 2018, really, I got to do like so many things. I got featured by Google. There's this thing I was doing again. I got featured by Mpesa. So I think Nikama Nilianzia could gain popularity in 2018. And uh, and I think um, even that job offer came from uh, one of those things. And then I think that's the year Nilianzia could quite like so much active in communities, uh, doing tech talks, anything Android. Same year, I think um, we had the first Droid con in Kenya. Uh, I was among the speakers here. So I think your time nearly corner, like I was doing so many things out there. So I think your call nearly took uh, somewhere in between up, or maybe someone noticed this guy is doing this, this, and this. Um, uh, ju- let's just try and reach out to him. So to be honest, Jay Uliza, why I was approached me, I was like, uh, <laughs> it was a good opportunity, so much money, and I was like, uh, um, and that was like my second year in, uh, in uh, this career. Now, Kunaila, like Kunazila jumps in Yunapataga in life, like. You, you don't you don't even expect them to come they just come there's little opportunities and yeah i can't say nearly one expect um i think he'll need two of off guard and then so and then there's someone there's a friend of mine who keeps telling me um saying you know you might join a good company for for um for a lot of money and then things don't work out for you so i think that was the case uh for me at delight um it was a good opportunity i had a good team but um at some point Things didn't work out for me. Uh, so uh, I think in July, I was on LinkedIn, just um, looking for like these other jobs. I got the opportunity uh, branch, so I applied for it in July. And then uh, August was the month to look on a droid corner 2019. So during that event, I met this guy, Anito Rob. So, uh, so Rob is like an engineering manager at uh, branch. He uh, leads the Android team, the mobile team. Basically, ni alikuwa yeye peke yake at that time. Uh, so they're looking to like increase the team um, because they were loading out to new markets and they're building new products. So they wanted to bring more engineers on board. So we talked. He's like, um, I'll check out your CV and then we start out the interview process. So that process took five months. Uh, those five months, um, I did seven interviews and one project. Um, then I got my offer in um, January. So January, sorry, no, late December, and then I had to give out my uh, notice in January, and then I made the switch in Feb. Uh, so I joined them in uh, start of Feb again, and uh, worked there for two months. That was like the shortest uh, time I worked with, an, with a company. So the sad thing is uh, because of Corona regulations and so many things, they're shutting down operations in Kenya. So they laid off, um, I think 80% of the company. So so, I mean, I mean, it's a it's a sad time for the company. So yeah, so say in Meru, it's an um that's available. Unangoja kasi mumali. Um, 
<laughs> I don't think nangoja kengine per se but <laughs> nimepata mbili tatu ina tano maybe saba eh hey, sawa uweza juma kitu moja <laughs> niko sure kabisa kuna msetu anataka kujua akitaka ku make it mtu anataka tu ku make it such that ameka kwa hao na napigiwa mm-hmm. simu unaambiwa eh hey, niaje uh, unaweza kama uchukue hii siju unaezambia mse a try kufanya nini hata kama uwezi pinpoint exactly useme ati nilifanya hii na hii Mm-hmm. What really do you think inaweza fanya mse apigiwe simu? Um I think I think it really some money just just trying to do so many things out there just making yourself popular yourself popular. Uh so kama sasa ukikuja uniuliza uh which people do you know uh when you wanna fanya something like super good uh with javascript ndanzia ku point out wase kama mai. Um me personally nilijua mai even before kitambo sana even before nianze kukua sema popular and uh, nilimjua through what he was working on so this guy is working on uh, this pwa thingy now nikituona tu online and this guy is is like very vocal is uh, so active in the communities so ningekuwa recruiter and then in my point of view ningejua mse is um is either so good or ako na skill yenye anatafuta so i think hiyo usikuwe kwa ile kokuni nyu umejifungia like umejifungia kwa nyumba yako you know I'm not doing things out there. So nikwambia I'm say for example leo kuje no matter how good you are in uh, say Android and stuff when do apply for for position in a company X na una una CV nyingi inaweza show who um, say ni nini uma work on. So ikifika hiyo point unapataga wasio anaanza ku code out fasting because au ni like like una au jijijenge ile portfolio yako yenye someone can look at and someone is like ah, this guy can do this thing. So I think first thing ni just trying to uh I learn something be good at it and then try to show it out there to the community because trust me all these people and all these people who are hiring and doing all these things ni watu wanakuwa wakijua sorry ni watu wanakuwa wakitafuta wase kwa hizi communities so for example leo nikitaka ku hire mse 100 i know to look at i know where to look at these communities and all these things so um i think just having taking that first step to just do this uh, especially for those people who are like starting off uh au jo for like three companies and you're going to get a cv uh, so just having say a blog you're active contributing to three four projects open source projects um um you actually doing tech talks around uh, a topic xyz kama unafanya android you're doing android talks and stuff um ndikifika ile point ya people are looking for someone to hire wanajua who mse anafanya hivi na hivi na hivi and that's uh, i think for me that's that's like a very good cv for a dev out there even more than the cv itself like it speaks for you ah nice so vilona isema hivyo ni kama mi take away points zenye nimeget kutoka hapo ni first of all kulikuwa na at least una fauji expose vitu kama mm-hmm. blogs enda yeah. kwa community kama kuna meetups wewe enda ongea yeah. na watu uh, yeah. alafu kuna wengine uliko umeificha ficha kidogo uh, are you trying to say that mtu anafa specialize because ukiongelea mae umesema mm-hmm. je yes umesema yeah. kitu kwa android unajua si ndio yeah does that mean at least mtu ana fast tick asikuwe ni kama ko everywhere e, jua na mtu kwa na kola but akuna yeah. mtu ana na go sana akuna mtu ananijua na yeah so initially yeah. I, i think when someone is like uh, starting up ukijaribu ku learn all these things at once um i think niko naenda una hit so many um, roadblocks along the way hadi unaanza una kukua discouraged so i think personally my advice is say like look at something just specializing that and then along the way you can pick other tools so like you said miss you fanya go um i, I don't think kuna wasi wengi uko nje ujua mimi ufanye your stuff but ni something yenye nime so niko comfortable I'm, like good in android niko sure hata nikitafuta opportunity leo itakuwa ya android and then i can start doing all these things on the side so i think just having that one area that you're good in and then just focus on that ah nice so aha. One area that you good in. Niko show isn't my so at least one point or another mtu anaweza kutaka kuuliza. So mm-hmm. one area that you good in. Mtu changanyikiwa sana sana mtu beginner. Yeah. Hajiongi anzie wapi? Yeah. Mtu ajiongi. So mtu anakuuliza nianze na Python ama Ruby ama nifanye Go ama na, nafaa kufanya nini exactly? Is there a good language to start with? Ama framework I, or something? I don't think I have like a good answer for that and I don't think there's a like a good language for that to start with per se. Uh, personally I think nilianzia na PHP. I wrote PHP for a day. 
Actually, I'm selling introduce to PHP a cocoy call. Um, say you talk as a copper, even some of my money. A bonga Buddha. No, no, he hates Nasama too. So, I met this. So, I just met these two guys in Campo. Um, so he used to uh, he used to do web stuff and uh, he's a man on a PHP and then. Another friend of ours used to do um, C sharp, so I wonder if apps the windows. And they're like, uh, Young will talk uh, actually from our discussion. Like, um, so you get to work like as a team, um, Satafanya web, um, Satafanya windows phone. As that time, Zilikozi Manzia Kukua a bit popular. And then, where we find Android. And then, PHP for a day, Nikola, like, ah, uh, I do Ibambi, Nika switch, Nika Nzia could do Android. So Nika dive into Java and all these things. So, personally, I think Nambiaga, maybe Neza Kwani passion. Kunola, I'm saying, like, Unaskiaga design is your thing. Undaga kukua designer and all these things. Then I think that's the best part for you to like follow. When I'm saying I'm interested in uh, apps, then maybe becoming a mobile engineer is your path. So it means an aga advice here, like start with this or not this. So basically, there's no one right language. So election you have a community and you go active and you have idea, go with it. Uh, so I think language now. Uh, but then you choose me different because I'm saying as a back end engineer. So if you want to do, if you want to become a back end engineer, you can do so many um, languages out there: Python, C, Java, Go, Ruby. But um, so I think the first step you identify in your dark fanya, and then the second thing maybe when I zangalia market, maybe uh, so when I zangalia maybe say so many companies out there are building in Scala. So it makes sense for you to, if you want to work in like that specific field, maybe Scala is your thing. So you need to look at that Scala community. Is it active? Maybe join that. Um, I still argue why this, why not this? Me, uh, I think I'm quite neutral in most cases. Uh, but Sengine, uh, gonna be too specific like Android. Android, uh, I think it's like a small ecosystem because you only have like a, if it's native, you're gonna like two languages. And then Google is saying we're not supporting Kotlin as an official language. So I mean. Technically, as a dev, um, it just makes sense to just like look into that specific um, thing in a support you and Santa um, People are behind it. Like, so tell me, like a huge chunk of Android, Google is supporting this. Like, so many people of us will try to uh, learn that new thing. So, yeah. Okay. So, community matters. I love for community at least. Usi saw me peke ako singa. Yeah. We at least na atoa kusaidi apa na pale. Jukio oh, yeah. lipo unafakuwa ume contribute to some open source, uneza andika blog. Yeah. So the language that you're starting with, just make sure there's some community ambayo iku hapo. Iku hapo, yes. Eh, yenye pia nezeka kusaidia kama umekuwama. Yeah, now in most cases, ukikosa community, you can also reach out to specific people when you unajua. And the thing is, Nambiaga, I'm saying, that, that specific person doesn't have to be like really experienced. And either kwa ni msamafanya ikitu, maybe for six months, uh, now you wanna start. It's like a good person or kuku's idea just getting started. So still as you wanna tafute my F or JavaScript question in any uko sure nick taftam se mungina maybe boys wangu send me meet to through a community. In some way kim text I aqua available kuni reply ama just jumping into a call. So just starting with small uh mentors like wase wenyako around the same level as you, P taku up skill and then it makes so, you challenge each other. PHP. Yeah, Oh, ah, nice. So, I'm going to PHP. Get in touch with Ibra. Yeah, I'm going to for more than a day. I'm going to do PHP for more than 15 <laughs> minutes. I'm going to do a day, and I think you're going to do it. I think the best thing you're going to do is to echo or to print it in the browser. I'm going to do it. Traditionally, align image. Oh, yeah, check it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to let you know PHP. <laughs> um, I think personally, in the field, this stuff interesting. Kwangu, na, na, uh, at the same time, Ibra, likuwa, so it looks like one, one small team. So I could not make sense. Pia, kama si field, na Ibra, na Ifanya, then it doesn't make sense for me to 
like start learning that thing afresh so nikaangalia like a different thing because for us we got to angalia just building out a small team so i think that was uh, the reason yeah also pia mliko mna consider team unasema ah since we are najua haina haja nisumbuane nayo haina haja nisumbuane nayo ya hapo hapo so na so nyingine mko niona hapa kwa chat msali kwa muuliza what do you need to consider evans roy i think he should be was ndio uh for you to specialize yeah hiyo nimejibu eh hiyo shajibu what languages or tech do most kenyan companies ah okay anyone mwenye kona hiyo jibu jumo naweza anza alafu mwenye kona jibu anaweza sema um okay from uh, i think a couple of companies yenye nime nimeangalia most of their tech stack kama ni back end stuff i think nimeona majorly python na uh, any jvm language so inaweza kuwa ni java scala i think those are like the most popular um and then kama ni fintech companies nimeona like most of them are building with uh, ruby on rails uh, i don't know why but kama nimeona it's a it's a favorite for most of these tech uh, companies uh ikikuja ikikuja hmm, so your back end um uh, ikikuja vitu kama mobile if it's android i think most people build natively on java a lot uh, na kotlin maybe a few i think you have to take your kotlin payments you should and then ios companies building with ios i don't know many um uh, but i know a company like pesapal because a friend of mine used to work there amas sendi they build native uh, ios with swift so i think na lingana pia na what you're looking at maybe someone else with a who has worked in a different field maybe another mention au ungetaja ruby on rails tungekosana haya au nimehitaja nimehitaja of course nili learn ruby for a month maybe hata monique amesema monique ndio ni mwana hapa amesema ti he siku amesmile tu kwenye umetaja ruby php pia sahau ile hata uki advocate ya elisa kuna mwenye atetea php hapa oh yeah okay personal php is you siko sure na jo mali bra na work they are building with php okay yeah yeah php yeah php me so mbali think most of these startups walianza na php so yeah company mingi kenya zina tumia php sasa ndio zina move on to other platform ah okay oh so anaanza na php alafu ana move on Yeah yeah. Eh, Naona Monica anasema ati wanatumia PHP for contactors page. Ile kwa mimi. Hayo ni. Hey, so uh, Ruby ulikuwa unasema story ya Elixa. Yeah, mmefanya Elixa at the moment. Nimefanya Ruby for quite a long time. Then nika switch nika end Elixa. <coughs> so when nilikuwa nafanya Ruby mimi nilikuwa nimestick to Ruby. Kabisa. Okay. Okay. When nimeenda Elixir ni mestick to Elixir. Hiyo ndio tunafanya saa hizi. So kind of yeah, yeah inanisaidia ku kujua language better, ku ku understand vizuri so that uki switch to the other one haisumbui mtu sana. Oh, it's interesting because there's uh, this thing uh, we're working on. Now you're mm-hmm. actually using Elixir pia. So Hey, hey, hey. Mbona mjanipigia simu? Tuna tuna pesa sasa hii but we, we can't afford you. Sasa mbona nalia mna pesa? Mm. Wait, mnalia mna pesa na mjauliza ni pesa ngapi? Mbona mna okay, maybe unajua nilisikia nilisikia yeah. unajua there's a there's a meetup ulisema your first pay was 15k right? So kama yeah. kama bado uko kwa hiyo salary skill tunaweza kwa afford. Kwa nyeri eh nilipwa 15k I was very very happy. <laughs> no kama uko kwa hiyo pay scale I mean tunaweza kwa afford. Oh hapo hapo itakuwa saa hapa na eh Juma mazee hii miaka yote but wewe ni yako imekuwa a bit uh, a bit fast when you make work up scale because you can't level you make work talk from one job to the next or one pay to the next yeah it's shot up so fast that i don't think anyone can replicate it and if you're taken back to 2018 you'll not you're not going to replicate it again um yeah true uh, like i said is it like is it video zero happen for me um singine i think it's like i don't even expect them to happen to me uh zero kuja so my mom keeps saying this like ni kama mungu tu anaku bless um maybe for maybe you're doing something and you don't know and it's god blessing you uh, to be honest siko expect at nikianzia career yangu in like 2 years nitakuwa ni work for like three companies and um like shifting out um across different pay scales and all these things 
So I think for me, ni, ni kitu ya, it's day expect in my life. Me just, ni like two, you're just putting in the time, the effort and everything. And then these things just come. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so Ian, I'll put your segment to the next part. Mm-hmm. And, uh, apa na eh na wewe namekuja na kelele kwa chat yani the, the next segment itakuwa nilikuwa nimesikia ukitaja story ya do uh-huh. ukasema ulikuwa umechukua job uh-huh. do yake ilikuwa poa kabisa hiyo sticky note niko show badiko kwa macho yako oh yeah na hiyo figo aliandikiwa ukasema wa mimi na hama <laughs> uh, yeah. yes kodi ni sigu pole tabi so since you go mingi huko ukapata probably it is not the best thing so what do you think makes a dev to stick to a particular job kama si pesa ama kama ni pesa i think it's your, it's your team and uh, your manager those those are like the biggest things that would keep you in a company for a very long time if it's not the money because uh, to be honest uh, uh, i think at trigger nilikuwa nili work with the best team uh, so far in my career ni my boys na relate now at work outside work yani kuna ile bond but now if it was not for, because of that money i think a switch uh just because of having a good team and a very good ceo so i think those are like very essential uh key like uh things in your career because they help you um like they help improve your career ah nice so kuna place nilikuwa nimeona and uh, squeeze me believe if there are three things that you need for a successful career the first one ina kuanga autonomy ile mtu anaweza ka trust that you can do your work yeah it really sucks if unafanya kazi yako alafu every time unaifanya mtu anakwambia ujaifanya vizuri hawezi ka hapo for long yeah hawezi ka hapo for long but there are two things kuna msanii anaweza kuwa anaambiwa ujafanya na actually ujafanya so i think in that case msanii anafaa kuwa like open to just like talking it unaambiwa this is why you're not performing because of this and this and this and yes. then you as a person you need to like go back and then rethink about that like just having someone tell you what your like why why you not performing like shida yako inatokea wapi msana kwambia vitu kwa hizo aha so yeah. I'll, I'll the other one ina kuanga pesa haikuange hapo the other one ina kuanga the team acha ni kwambia hata kama una nipo 15k yeah na the team is okay yeah aina ngaja switch Senior. true that that i agree yes i'm saying yeah. a good team for me is everything yeah so with time at least tuta sharpen skills zako na nini so when have you unakuanga kila mahali unapatanga wapi time ya ku sharpen skill na una zi sharpen aje ah uh, yes ali then ni ngumu so me kwa kila mahali true uh, but pia mimi lala um uh, very late so i think most of the time nakuaga like usiku usiku zangu zinakuwa that's when i'm learning and working on so many things at once na most cases unapotaka na lalaga between 3 to 4 pm most most times um and then i think part of uh, my learning process i must say there so many people along the way because kama leo niko na shida x so so i'm working on this thing na imenisumbua i normally share that to someone else kwenye niko show maybe i share ifanya ama kwa a different idea so for me i just try to learn from so many different people and then as you work on so many different things you know una kwa exposed to so many ways of doing the same thing in different ways so i think skills zangu zimekuwa sharpened just by working for these different places and then working because kila kampuni inakuwa na its own way of doing things they're solving different problems so you need to think about it in different ways so unapata your like knowledge yako inaendelea kuongezeka because you're working on different problem sets for every place you're working and then peer this open source projects um for example you're working on a project x and then initially uko peke yako maybe then 3 4 5 more people join in and then someone is coming in with uh, different ideas so peer up evo i think that's why kind of like uh, learn so many things from peer yeah now peer peer also see sugar coat you was and i think you have to do a lot of sacrifices you yeah true true a lot of things kabisa yeah yeah actually yeah, um that's a good point ibra cuz nilikuwa nafikiria hata vile unaisema hivyo kuna wale wase how switch kampuni sana mm. so how really can they get this uh, how, how can they get better at whatever it is you do um okay if you're not switch, if you're not learning from new teams uh, i think open source projects are like uh, one good place so personally uh kuna kuna kwa na hii nini ya google anakuwa okay open source most of uh, maybe what they're working on so for um, a good example is 
kila mwaka Google IO inakuaga and then ile app ya Google IO inakuaga hiyo source code ni kaga open source for people to just look at so those are good projects to just give you uh, like better ways of doing something and then just taking that idea and discussing it with the team in that company in Ujatoka and then so to call like three engineers I'll tell them um I think we should do this thing this way because of this and then someone else comes comes in with a different idea um and I think at the end of the day it's you actually like sharpening your skills here and then niko sure my dev wengi hapa hivi maybe someone will be taking a side job or something so maybe unaza unaza pata unawaka kampuni hii but unafanya aga pia freelancing so maybe those freelancing projects will be uh, different problems and you need to learn something just work on them so kuna hiyo aspect pia ah okay um anyone else mwenye kuna contribution on how someone can get better at programming kuna watu wako kwa hii chat na wajua wote na wako na kelele na wapatia time ya kuongea after hii kwa <laughs> kuna Wayne Tabi Nadi Monique kelele tu nikisego eh sawa sio kitu mimi ufanya sasa what I'll always do is uh, when I learn a new concept what I'll always perceive regardless of how long I read a documentation or uh, whatever I'm, I'm reading before I do a sample project on it maybe one or two and personally I, I assume I don't know it and what, what always happens when you do real life projects or scenario like uh, projects you get to learn a lot of stuff so personally I do web and uh, most probably the first the first site I always do is a blog not just a, a simple uh, posting blog the crowd one but the tags mentions comments notifications like a full fledged blog the second I always do is a, an e-commerce site yeah you list the products you have the admin side you you order products yeah payment stuff like that then i try at least do one or two libraries like like for instance uh when they started i've been i've been planning elixir then i was more interested in the website so currently i'm still focusing more on, on the web part of elixir so i've done a blog site which is still i'm still doing i've uh, i've done a ssd app with elixir i've done an e-commerce site with elixir i've done an mpesa package with elixir and i've done notifications package with elixir recently we were, we were discussing with uh, sigu about in inertia js i did a sample project on, on that in inertia i did a sample i'm here to do a sample project in graphql like if you see all this they are just for learning purposes they they may seem to be a lot of work but uh, what i always say that you better do it now and uh, have a uh, little on your stack uh, on your uh, little on your side do maybe later the, or wait then get surprised then <laughs> you'll be <laughs> mining the midnight oil to get in touch or uh, to get at okay. par with your teammates or whatever the place you'll be working yeah so personally that's what i always do Alafu magaku venye bado unaongea kuna swali lingine mtu ameuliza hapa important then after mm. that kwa Juma and anyone else huwa yeah. mnasoma sangapi as in if you want to have a normal life mnasoma yeah. sangapi Oh time ya oh, kula I think yeah time ya kula Ibrahim atama kitu poa sana hapo hiyo dedication like kama una lalaga 9 anza kulala 1 I think you need to create that time na na msana sema siku ina 124 hours and it's the same for everyone but uh i think you need to sacrifice so much of um so much of your time to just learn and uh i think the other thing is learning takes time like akuna hao msikuwa pro at unataka kuiva hii kitu na 3 months ama uh like maybe mse kuna mse anaweza kuwa ni sharp and understand vitu faster na kuna mse mwingine anaweza kuwa ni mandazi ame learn hii kitu for one year na bado um the same year learn but is taking much uh time to just learn so kuna kuna pia option so at the same time i think ni Uh, I think the answer to that is ill education too. Unajitolea sana. 
time ina kuaga time ina kuaga hapo kama najiuliza kama there is someone who who can do this better than you kwani wanatoa game time wapi na nyote mko na the same time so maybe yeye yeah, alalagi mapema au analalaga mapema hapo ndiye yeah, anatoa time alafu hii time si lazima ikuwe at a block of 3 hours no si lazima ikuwe si corona yeah si yeah, si lazima ikuwe like mimi nasema usiadi eh usi usi usifanye ati ikuwe ni kama daru ati unaingia hapo for 3 hours una unakaa hapo na utapata kuna time utasoma stuff for like 30 minutes ikubo maybe kesho ukijaribu utajipata uko hapo for 6 hours bila uh, bila hata kujua time imesonga so like as it were fixed block of hours ah okay Uh, any other person mwenye anakwanga na haki ya kusoma through uh, some time in the day asaidiane hapo Just unmute na uongea haina shida Yes Monique Ah uh, yeah Everyone. So um how I plan my day is I use porodomo to tell myself so like from this time to this time I should be doing this from such a such a time should be doing this and then I make sure I take breaks in between so if I take a break of like an hour I watch I watch a movie or I do zumba kidogo at least things that will keep you going amuna unaenda una watch funny clips as long as you maintain time yako alafu each and every day set up goals like say today let me talk about variables na iterators and stuff so make sure at the end of the day you may try to achieve yoki tunataka to achieve else unaweza carry forward and then Yeah so just plan your day and make sure you try to achieve whatever you want. When you wake up in the morning right you're not trying to achieve at the end of the day and you rudie urudi kwa hiyo document ongele kama umejaribu kuachieve. Alafu also have enough sleep. Usi usianze kwa mkasa moja alafu na latina saa tisa tena au mke 8 ana hiyo ta kuna jidanganisha. Kama wewe ni mtu wa kumka saa sita kama kina wavinya lala tu saa tisa au mke saa tisa lakini wewe sio umefanya kazi. Hivyo tu. <laughs> so rasema usingizi ni important despite everything else watu walale yes aki manze miulala bethe miulala for like seven hours nalala kam to imdogo alafu ndio nikiamka na feel niko fresh so when you wake up make sure umeamka just freshen up kama wewe si mtu wa kuoga amka wenze kufanya kitu unafanya and then kitu nilifanya pia eh manze kama uwezi that a take person utaumia kwa sababu huyo mtu hezi la life yako So zingine na tukakuongea na wewe usiku usiku ndio uko zond alafu nafika mchana tena mwenye tukakuongea naye yeye pia amebia kwa job so if you want to date like if dating is for you date someone who will match your type kama utaki kama mimi ka nyumbani date machine yako and you'll succeed wala <laughs> nikulize tabi una in short unaambia watu waangalie hapa kwa chat waangalie attendance waanze ku nini kujitafutia <laughs> Uh, Wayne alikuwa na comment by the way. Wayne. Eh, hey, leo kuna suti kwa profile tafadhali Wayne. Ah, eh, hey, buda. Ah, so hiyo try. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Hebu buda. Wacha tu video watu waone wewe unakaaje. Wewe uka hivyo. Ai, we. Abada. Ah, 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 ah. ah. <laughs> Amevaa. Ame Kwambe. Mwambie ujoga bado. Eh, hii video inakuwa recorded wewe. Usichome. Ai, pole pole. Ah, endelea. Ah. Well, there's a time tulikuwa corporate sector. Tulitoka corporate sector. Sikuzi siko taking by. Utapiga hiyo story pia, niambie. Utapiga hiyo story soon, yeah. So when it comes to learning stuff, um ni kama vile tu Monique amesema like you need to plan. Na kitu kingine pia it's very important is someone to really understand sleeping patterns zao ama active patterns because as again kama vile Juma anaza kuambia vile yeye ufanya ama mimi vile nafanya and maybe it will not work for you uh, the key thing is to always understand yourself like are you a morning person or an evening person na kama wewe ni morning person then make sure you utilize that time and another thing is um distractions especially right now at the time of corona kila mtu kwa nyumba yake ama nyumbani kwao na everyone is trying to um really get to learn stuff right there's a lot of distractions internet iko hapo 24/7 unajipata tu umeingia whatsapp umetoka whatsapp unajipata umeingia instagram umetoka unasikia kitu na trend twitter umeingia umewest like almost 30 minutes to follow story you know there's a lot of distractions um, one of the things i i use um 
especially for my case, is I slot a time when I just do anything like we do got social media. So kama nikiamka for example 9 a.m. Uh, it's between 9 to around 11. Yo unajua ni time yako ya breakfast, nini, me freshen up, mambo kama hayo. Na una slot time maybe like to watch YouTube videos because kuna watu wengi huku nje umefungua tab yako ya kucode, maybe uko stack overflow, unasikia YouTube ime, ime push notification. There's a new video out for example kama ni video ya documentary flani unafuatizia so just slot time for that and then after you are done meeting your family like sometimes you can just go offline if you choose to you go offline and then chape hours zako ambazo unataka and within these hours you have to make sure you understand also your um you need to understand your attention span because kuna wale ambao attention span yao ni 20 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes an hour So it all depends on the on the individual themselves. After you you feel your attention span yako imeisha, try and take a break, do something but don't get distracted too much. Dipa take kama 20 minutes ya ku relax then go back to work. Utilize the time kama ni usiku chapa code usiku, amke maybe ulale 6 a.m. ama 7 a.m. or make sure wakati unaamka you freshen up ni nini and then you revitalize for the next uh, for the next uh, period of like working so yeah it's all about planning knowing yourself and utilizing all the time kuna kwanza sai eh mazi time corona sai just take all opportunities uko nazo za kusoma and just learn 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 but at the same time kuna kitu watu naitanga tutorial purgatory do not stay in the tutorial uh, tutorial purgatory always make sure you do projects ambazo zina zinakujenga like skills zako vitu kama ma javascript um, um python anything just make sure you build projects out of it yeah ah, nice way nice nice by the way hata venye umesema hivyo naona kuna msa alikuwa anaulizia hapa anaitwa let me check alikuwa anaitwa nani ah olivin jones alikuwa anasema anapanga na shida kubwa sana cause akisoma anasoma tu vitu vizuri lakini akijipeleka kwa project anaona giza kabisa ile sasa anashanga kwani iko related na kitu nilikuwa nafanya ama it's a totally different thing so yeah. umesema msasi shinde kwa tutorials cause yeah. ata, ata kwa mapo si ndio but yeye yeah. yeah, that ni akitekio leap and kufanya the real thing yeah. anapata wa hizi vitu hazifanani na hazitoshani so uh, unezosaidiaje <laughs> mtu kawe um so So I'm um, saying I'm right now uh, in our days ukienda kwa any blogs um unapata msia ametua me like ameandika two blog on like a number of projects to undertake for example just test your skills because you'll find like almost all the projects you can do them depending on the programming language that you want so for example um the normal one ambayo inajulikana to do list right to do list is only basic crude functionalities that is like create read update delete right so with any programming language you can do a to do list so when you learn the basics and then you take yourself into projects is it projects they're not necessarily to punish you it's just to challenge you don't want to like um, beyond the uh, foundations of mesoma you can actually go further to really understand how do you even let's say um, do a call to an api that provides information from the back end into the front end right we may learn basics but with projects even learn further than that um because nice projects they don't have to be big projects I, i think that's one of the problems sometimes we have as developers we always tend to think big alafu tuna tunafanya like tunafika pali unapata repo yako imekuwa empty for like a couple of months because you thought they could do it but then one like hey, this project is too big i've been thinking too big or maybe i wanted to build something like facebook siwezi ni nini and the two small small if you go go leo unajipata ah let me create a bookmark for myself i'm let me create um a place where i can just keep track of how many books i've read for the past two weeks or the past three weeks then it to go to yani and buy na test skills zako um for example if you want to just If you want to learn about APIs, how can I learn about APIs? Maybe I can just um, use APIs to display something on the front end. Mambo kama if to dogo dogo tu, unajipata like by the time you even go further, hey, 
a bit of a person. So just take one project at a time and do not uh, not punish yourself for not being able to do everything. Yeah. Okay, so basically, I think it's in the end of the day. Just to add on that issue of uh, projects and how to relate to audit projects. So, Maramingi Venyanofanyanga na Jipatanga, instead of Kutafuta tutorial in Ongia Kuhusu Arrays, I'm about something specific. Unatafuta tutorial and Yamutu, I'm a whole project on, like I'm a build. Uh, Something come I mean web so my build system ya kufanya A B C D. You follow them through. Okay. Then instead of like learning different things and trying to combine them on a project, you follow through project uh, project tutorials. Actually, that's I think that's what they're called, project tutorials. So no for a tutorial from the beginning to the end. By the end of that tutorial, utakome build Kenya uyom to me build na utakome joko integrate V T and it. In harmony together, instead of having to learn different things from different people and then trying to join them in the same project, because people don't teach the same. Kuna vitu mtu moja to overlook, then mtu mwingine hata overlook. But if you follow one person from the from the beginning to the end, you stand a better chance of actually following them through. Oh, nice. So uh, at least we miss out on our blogs, tutorials, and then what about when we create blogs and tutorials? Up. I'm not sure how to do your blogs. Juma umeza ublogging yeah. yeye Juma. Eh? Yeah. Wao blog. Ama unaongea? I think umepotea. Oh. Wewe hu blog. Mimi nimeenda. Ah, wewe nakusikia poa sana. Um Na lost ama? Wewe ndo una lost. Oh, yeah. wewe ndo una lost. Oh, oh. Acha ni switch net. Well, I think umeenda kabisa. Iko sawa tu ni Juma ndio alikusikia peke yake. Oh, ni Juma tu ndio alisikia. Sasa ina kusikia sasa. Hebu sema. Okay. Oh, nilikuwa nasema wewe huwa u blog. Ah, uh, niko na blog but nimekuwa it's been a while since the uh, blog si page, blog ni vitu content. <laughs> oh, ndio nasema uh, it's been a while since niandike anything. I think last 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 time was September last year. Ah, okay. Ivy, Ivy yako wapi? Ivy ni mwana hapa hiyo blog. Ivy you good for hints na tips. Hey, Ivy ni gwiji. Gwiji gwiji gwiji. Hey, Hebu atupatie na aeke link yake hapa. Hai bwana loka. Nitakelezea. Hai bwana. Eh, lakini kwa dakika blog sikuzi ni ngumu bwana. Anaogopa kuongea. But nilikuwa na kusema kuongea. Give her time. Ah, okay. Unasemaje Juma? Nilikuwa na msaya Olivine. Um I think tu nimekuja ku realize personally ni um una for understand your concept so like a good example is uh, on android you want to do dependency injection so come on understand uh, like the whole concept in general na kinyina maanisha adok for the tutorial i'm say msana za skip ku kueleza actually most people in blogs uh, wana za skip ku kueleza why you should do it why it's done this way like the concept so most will not explain that concept to you so unapata nimepitia tutorial kwa hadi code samples but at the end of the day nime copy paste much of that code into my code um na sijui ni nini inaendelea um i think first thing nimekuja ku realize ni just take time to understand the concept itself and then now ukijua uh why it should be done so that ukienda copy paste code now the, that code starts to make sense i think kwa nikitu nimekuja ku realize personally and it's been helping me so much um especially to learn and work at the same time you i think time yangu ina kuwa tu yani so short um uh, like itoshagi so thinking up here you need to like spend so much time just trying to understand the concept more than you spend that time in a tutorial okay okay copy paste oh okay in your tutorial sije i need sije ka popo anataka kuongea ama bado tumpatie time hiyo story ya blog inaka nini sana so na unatuko wengi 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 eh sema monique um si nilikuwa nasema avi anakuja wewe tulia tu hata ni kwempole so unatuko wengi but Yes, sema magak. Waenda kikuja. Eh. Ni ndudu zingine hapo tatu on kitimesema hapo yenye wewe nalisema. Eh. Yeah. Nasema some some awesome stuff there. So just to add we do do tatu ya kwanza ni repos. Kuna zingine mimi personally nilimta niulizanga. Eh, hey, uko na repo ngapi like it gets to an extent people are trying compete in the number of reports they have unapata mtu amecreate report tano ana kitu 
Juu one time mimi mtu aliniuliza what I always do ukiona okay, nimecreate repo mimi once i project then maybe nita commit two three times then nikiona basic iko na content ta push so tashanga eh hey, jamaa ana push vitu mingi sana ama uone mtu mwingine ame create repo then amejaza so the thing ni with time zitapatikana tu so pesa ni yako then on other thing ni if you really learning something and juma alisema vizuri if for example you started with java get to know java very well before ta uende kwa kitu kingine it really helps it really helps you it really has that excuse for example if i can say for my case me nianza na php na nikafanya for so much long time hadi size naifanya bado Nani anaingiza watu PHP? Nani anaingiza watu PHP? don't engage in discussions about languages. Yeah, so the thing ni unapata after hiyo nikafanya JS. So some of the time nafanya view like that day nilikuwa nasoma inasha like it becomes so very easy concept you unajua JS vizuri. The time I was getting started with Elixir, nachukua documentation it was the first time in the chukua documentation nikasoma hivi nikaenda kwa project nikafanya kitu nikaran bila kwenda kwa tutorial naona. Go the much I've been doing something in particular in most of the concepts I have them. Unaona so the first thing if you really start with something do it vizuri sana and you get the concepts very well. Na na Java atakwambia juu anaelewa Java vizuri ndio maana ni easier for them to shift to Kotlin. Wale wenye walikuwa na copy paste code in Java still struggling to switch to Kotlin. Juma will tell you that. So get that concept very well. Then on the way of on learning know yourself. There are people who prefer videos. Yeah. There are people who prefer tutorials. Nini? What are, what are they call blogs the people who prefer these courses. So it depends with where you're starting from. Yeah, so same at Nani at Miaga in you personally started by by videos but then I went to blogs. Then recently I find it's even easier to understand the document the documentation itself. It comes with the time. Do personally if you ask me something I'll tell you if you're starting go to this or maybe I prefer this but If you run this thing for some time go to the documentation and, and you'll get it very well. Lakini kwa video pia ni tricky kidogo. Not until una watch mtu then una realize mmeanza na hapa moja alafu kwa like yeye asha code hadi line imejaa. Unashangaa ametoa code wapi? Yeah, I think you know Lisa. Okay, okay, on blogging. Uh-huh. I used to do blogs but I'm kind of lazy of writing. So what I currently do I do sample projects and write a very good review for them. You read me una convert to blog ama ikae tu hivyo. Ikae tu hapo. I'll share the repo link. Ah, okay. Yeah. If you get it right on view you can go to my repo. Kuna vitu mingi hapo sana za view na Elix na na blog. Mimi nataka watu wa blog. Alafu by the way hey, hey. for your information time yetu imeisha. Tuliona na na 40 bwana. Yeah. tu. Mimi niko open. Juma, I have a question for you. Okay, ask. Sasa tutakwanga na mashida za people around us don't really get what we do as in wanakwanga like What do you really do e software programming in nini so how ashiki then they tend to like wana kusukuma chini imekufanyikia na ume mjaje yeah to be honest ukiuliza if you ask my dad what i do i don't even think anaweza kuambia anajua gati ni kufinya finya computers now uh, i think it and, and i think that should not even turn you down uh, for any reason um personally i sije sije kama discouragement ever so but personally plus the experience not unless mtu ni mzae kabisa or um ni watu wanda okay maybe sijui sina like a specific answer for that 
but uh, I'm sure if you ask my dad what I do, I don't think he can even explain it to you. So I'm not going to win if you use a computer. Maybe it's going to pass. That's I think that's the much he knows. By the way, you just be a company person now, because me ever ni kuli zwanga wofanya muse ma vitu za computer. That is the exactly. best answer I ever give. <laughs> there's, no, there's no way to explain it to them. But I think um because I have a different so my mom used to do uh BBIT in campus, so at least I understand programming and coding basics too. So I mean yeah, and as I understand in any new fanya, but now the other so the other like my dad, we are we are you all are to attack you could use if it means so and I don't think it should I should be like a problem for you out there. Uh like we feel discouraged, per se. Yeah, but the worst thing with these people, kambi ya mtu na kwa ya software development ama engineering, na kuja kukwambia unaweza niekea Windows 7. Unaweza ni kwa Facebook. Unaweza hapa na hivyo. Yeah, I mean hizo ni request me upata pia mimi. Um sasa nitisha maybe si crack ya nini ya Windows. Uh vitu zingine maybe unaweza kuwa kwa idea au kwa idea venye unaweza Google. Uh but yeah, labda kuna hiyo misconception I'm saying I understand ni nini inaendelea. Juma Nyinyi mko na bahati unaolima crack ya Windows. Mimi there was a day my aunt alikuja akani akaniambia fridge yake inatoa sauti ni muangalilie. Ana yako na fridge zidi. Injinia, hebu ni kuna sauti nyingine inatoka hapa nyumba, hebu ni angalie. Ah, yeah, yako. Yeah, I mean they keep other with the fridge. Maybe maybe msana la baba yake. Yeah. Na hivyo ifika point yenye msana kwa ofa like job ingine yani juu anaona yako si kitu like ana kutumia job offer ingine KMTC something like that Mimi ama Eh no like, ni kama starting up unajua So sigu You remember the time nikiwa Isumu so, Yes I went to a hero uh -huh. then those this jama apikipiki hapo akaniuliza ah wewe ni graduate then is like wewe hata usisunguke ati usitafuta kazi wewe fanya hivi aende nyumbani ataongea tu kidogo tuunde arambe tu computer wanza cyber na means idea unakumbuka cyber <laughs> so we some convince your computer ingine apart from you as cyber here juwi ah so anyone just unmute and say nini mnaweza tuambia nini tena uliwaambiwa just unmute and just speak usiogope ama mtu akwa na swali interesting auliza eh mmoja kwa swali interesting mimi ni kwa swali unaweza take in the tech pia that's okay sabi hebu uliza but na na try to understand kama podi na siguri the same person jini mwana hahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah
Kampo, sorry, I school nika jambia sa inyo. So, apparently suku nyo for like two years. And then, so nili maliza high school nikiwa 16. And then, ikafika, ikafika to me, um, kwenda kufanya e stuff in itagwazi, e driving test, nyo nipata ya driving license. So, jumadhe alikuwa mezuisha ni nyo ya kitambo. And then, unajua African parents wanona ni kama una dis, ni kama wani disgrace kwa sasa hati ukika hivo shagi. So, aliandaga kambi ukarao, uki jana usimusainie, adi ya nyo ya. <laughs> um, so, as much as nilikuwa raka yo DL squad haku nyua So nika jambia Sita ichukua na itaka hey, Then after a week nika like I think na itaji DL So um, nika nyua for the first time uh, Hiyo likuwa 27-2014 And then kutoka hapo Nilikuwa na weka nyueli inakuwa mrefu And then na inyua after a year Mostly that's, a, that's been the case And then So nyuele sa hii inanda kugonga 2 years Ikifika June yeah, I think in Africa kufika two years. So nilikuwa ni nyue. Um, and then for the first time in my life, mother can yambu si nyue inaka atupo. Uh, so I think, I think ni kama li, aliona tu stay nyue. So squeezy, for me ina kuwaga tu, sipendi kunyue na spendagi kukua hivyo bila nyue. I think ni kinyue leo wasa wata nzi. Wasa wata ni juara ni kitembea kwa street. So, so kapu ume danganyana. Ebu tu mbia me danganya. Wee. <laughs> we know it's about the hairline. Ah, na commute. At the name of Nikuliza Unawa Lini. Okay. So, Kunasali, Nimuliza and Tawa Lini up with you, chat. Hey, okay. So, so okay. I, I think personally, maybe in the next three years. Wait, three years kono, umeja kuna time ya kupata, kutafuta? Usijali, usijali, kato ni mefakta hii. I think personally, like, like personally, kwa zile life goals nye ni mai, like vitu nisha itaka kufanya, I think ni mai itaka kupata mtu hini kiwa 28, for some weird reason, na bado sija change. So, tuseme three more years. What's the next big ride? Um, <clears throat> okay, I think itakuwa Mercedes. Ish. Wait, yani mnaongelea Mercedes Juma. Yeah. Mpya. Eh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, well, si 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 ja si ja fika hapo, but I think itakuwa Mercedes. Oh, Inakaa yeah. kuna sticki na tunangoja mahali. Nigo ngapi? Well, kuna Ati? Yeah, kuna sticki na. Ah, kuna sticki pia, umekubaliwa sigo. Ati? <laughs> I think what any jibu is in the cocoa chat. So, to a leather, to a story, a heartbreak. Hey, I think you born as a leather, yo. Um, but the, the much I can say is Nililala Hosi. Um, <laughs> yeah, Millie admit you, I'm saying, in this story, serious, what is it? No, not a joke. <laughs> Uh, Buda umepitia mengi bana. Hawajuagi wen, hawajuagi, hawajuagi. So, I think, I think your story, your story lianzia kitambo and then kopena na ude msta mtaja na sayi sama nani. But, ilifika ilo ya point ya, adi tulikuwa tuna move in pamoja. Uh, yeah. uh, I think kwa tukua kampu tulikuwa na ujinge anyway. So, uh, after your heartbreak, I think maisha yangu kukua the same. Siku kukula for a week. Nika collapse, nika peleko C3 AM. Um, Nimeko drip, nime peleko na boys ongu, waliko ito Byron, na um, a friend of mine, she's a lady. So, the first thing niliamuka, I think niliamuka, yu jio ni kabisa juni, nilizimo yu siku mzimo, hata siku wanajisikia. So, the first thing nikifungua macho, naona, so I'm seeing my mom, and then my aunt is standing next to her. And then Byron, na odem, odem, sasa unajua tumemuamisha 3 AM, do watu, wanilete OC. So meva ile, ile dress tu ya kulala, alafu sasa ana, so, sorry, ajavai ni niandani ya madem, bra, chasa nisema. So, so vinyi situation inakaa, ni kama nilikuwa na uu dem, and then, madea kwa hapa ataki kukuliza bada na kuangalia. Na, I think ilikuwa like a very bad experience for me personally, um, but inakuwa la life, ukikosa kupitia vitu kama hizo, you never learn, so, yeah, mwenye likuwa na kujua, yes, so, ya nini? Ulikasiriko kanza kukoni? Yeah, yon diyo time sasa nili, nilikuwa ni manzia, nilikuwa na ile interest, but, um, I think after your heartbreak na, vinyesa nilisikia ni kama mwesha angu tu yiko tu hivo, nikanzia saa kufocus so much on, 
like something else ndio ito your pain unajua unaambia go you like your pain in a was okay well so you explain maybe you can share break on and understand uh but yeah upon the start story ya kukodi ni like ilianzia kunishika vizuri eh okay na thought you are ingia code your heart break tuko wengi sema ibra ah wewe ibra ndio shamba mko wawili tu bwana wewe ah wewe mwingine pia wavinya pia ndio huyo huyo ah mimi ndio eh wase taking of heart breaks juu ni ni chaome kama ala eh sijini chaome kwa wengi huko eh eh siko sikora ni choma dadangu habari gani ni nani yeye anaambilia hivyo ana jibu mtu kwa tuka so hapa lakini tunangoja kusikia dadangu juma yako hata juma sasa yako si kitu Mm-hmm. Yeah, ili kwa international heartbreak. Yanani? Kwanza sema ni anaye mjue. Asi? Sijui ni chome. Wewe dadangu ni chome ni si chome. <laughs> ah usichome dada. Kama ni dada. Kama ni dada, dada. Ah, dada tuna record hiyo usichome. Usichome. Alafu yeye ni bwana. Kuna mtu ameuliza Juma what is what is my personality? Eh, ah, okay. So I think wasa wamekuwa mabishi wangu wanazojibu hiyo swali mse mmoja Wacha ni nominate Grace Nani? Grace Grace Mugoiri Grace on get ama ama utusiki Juma ni idler simple Haya mmoja amesema idler mwingine <laughs> Eh local man Aha uh-huh. wengine Mmoja kuanza I thought personality ni choleric melancholic sanguine phlegmatic you're not here you're supposed to be here I'm a colleague. And you're to do some medicine with Nani. Hey. Hey, um sana mtoto amesoma? Rusungu. Colleague na mkoni. Sanguin. Okay, okay. I said you are brief basi. So, colleague means the it must be in a drive on the speed yeah. I think I think rest just kia kenye mtama. Bona kuna listi na ina 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 move you on a speed so thing you do is just moved by speed so i guess the key word there is so if you are doing anything okay i think no. nimeshika kitu amesema lakini ame break break ame break break ya yeah. unakuwa thrilled by speed oh yeah yeah mimi uko thrilled by speed yeah hiyo ndio kitu nimesikia kisema No ando ulishikwa na <laughs> Yeah watu ni ba- watu ni kila siku. Yeah okay of course oh, correct. Na watu, na watu nimebeba wanaendaga wa scream. So pia mimi nimebeba na mse fulani hapa nika scream lakini na bike. Eh si. Eh, Nani okay. na, na alikuwa na sema hiyo story ya melancholic uh, something. Chantel. Eh, Chantel. Oh yeah well, yeah. Oh, yes well, so Ah, sije nifanye correction. Eh, hizo ni the four temperaments. Personalities, mm-hmm. 16 personalities, C4. Mm-hmm. Hey. Yeah. Ruby. Si Ruby sa A. Kuna temperaments. Kuna I think kuna swali nyingine hapa kwa chat. Kuna kuna swali naulizwa why aren't you applied uh, at Microsoft? So uh, personally, I don't think I'm ready. Uh, that's number one. And then a recruiter reached out to me um, from microsoft um kanidisha cv nika forward and then ilikuwa juzi ama nikatumiwa codility test ya kwanza so i shared this to um, a family whatsapp group yenye tunakuwa nayo hapo and then my mom was like ah uh, watu wajue wewe ni nani eh they're just testing you and then i was showing that to a friend of mine nikamwambia kwenye madhara nafikiria codility nikaa supu like ni kitu tu nitakunywa tu nikipita nayo uh, but i don't think personally i'm ready um, I'm learning so many things. 
na pia ningetaka kuwa kina like one specific feel for a longer for a longer time so i want to focus on android for a while um so i think that's why sijengi huko hivyo but it's a good place yeah but kuna mse nilisikia kusema ati microsoft ni place ya ku retire <laughs> kama ah sijui ni kwa nafanya kwa sana eh ni kwa na boys wangu wameingia huko na vitu wana learn i don't think ni ready kufanya hizo vitu sahihi plus hotel kujifunga kwa hiyo ecosystem ya microsoft mm Yeah. Uh, so okay, Sibu, I think Sibu, you might want to say why there's a problem with the ecosystem at if it's not too sensitive because now we're wondering what's wrong with the whole oh, company the why you don't want to join the Microsoft ecosystem. Yeah, program. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um not really something wrong with it on my end siati kuna kitu mbaya nayo but back in the days microsoft walikuwa na so much proprietary software and languages that if you learn it you are a microsoft person as in wewe ni mtu anafanya vitu za microsoft everyone knows unafanya vitu za microsoft sio kama siku hizi ukifanya ruby on rails you're doing web kitambo ulikuwa unafanya .net so .net ilikuwa ya microsoft vb ilikuwa ya microsoft so walikuwa me create their own ecosystem yenye if you are either in or out that is how it was sana sana kitambo ilikuwa work but for someone who's already worked outside of microsoft getting into microsoft you still can work outside if you want after that so why would you not opt or maybe juma can tell us why would they not want to go there what are yeah, story are and- Achana na story ya you want to work in one place for longer but if there's any other reason No me ni msema I want to work uh, like I want to focus on Android for a longer time so I think that's why Okay Yeah Na yeah, plus the other, the other thing, thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah ni sasa hizi ukitoka alafu uende huko utapata MS hawana Android watataka kufanya za marine Yeah. Hawana Ruby on Rails, hawana Elixir, hawana hizo vitu zote. So you actually restricting yourself to that. So it means ukitoka MS lazima tena utafute kampuni yenye inatumia hizo stack za yeah. MS specifically. Career suicide. Okay. okay, I understand. Yeah, career suicide. Yeah. I understand. Uh akuna akuna swali zingine na interest. Kuna swali. Okay, uliza. Okana moja si swali ni kwani eh team za mnyama anaanza kutuongeleshe alafu nani nani anajua story ya deno ebu mtuchanue eh deno ni nod deno ni nod wewe ni data mbona ita deno wewe deno ni nod miss data deno ni mbona twitter wewe wewe deno si nod wewe haya hata mimi nimepotea sijui nini inaendelea teams ni hata i'm just kidding sorry i didn't know No okay. I want to have updated. Ebu tupati una. The creator of Node alisema kuna 10 things he regretted about Node.js. So Deno is more of like a revamped version of Node but with ah. more features kama security na mambo kama hayo. So right now the I think the debate is um, is Deno going to replace Node.js nini you know so yeah that's that's what's happening right now so in a trend everywhere right now oh mimi nilikuwa afikiria ni Dennis Mutuku Dennis nani Dennis Mutuku guys seriously miss kwa najua ah sigu acha acha nijibu hizo zote kwa kwa chat so kuna mtu anauliza story ya data structures and algorithms so missy pro but um na tafuta like a good learning uh, pattern for that so maybe after this when i reach out um maybe tunaweza kama tunaweza anzia ku learn pamoja because i think ni tunataka ku focus on imoka so i'm giving it so much time because i know it's i mean it's not easy so yeah i'm giving it uh some time alafu kuna mtu ananiuliza ume watch mr robot nope sije watch um but ni me watch uh is stuff in it waje silicon valley so you can the same thing but ni mesu mr robot ni story za tech id and stuff um alafu juma which company are you joining next ah interesting i think itakuwa either um sendi ama nalamani 
iko Tanzania ama Twiga Foods ama kampuni nyingine inaitwa Shara so i think it's one of those four companies they on the corner and the next maybe uh, in less than a month from now uh yep alafu short term goals of, as of now kitu 5 years i think short term goals zangu 5 years ni maybe work on a startup and um if, if things go on uh let's properly maybe in the quit employment just to like work on something on my own so unazita hiyo ndio short term goal um and then i think arona amesema kuna data structures channel and telegram so aron i think kuna that drop your link um and then what's your end game eventually ah to be honest i don't know i think ni matter to be to do the flow um perfect uh yeah but just i mean just being hopeful about everything i'm working on so sina end sina hiyo ni ni sahi so sina answer um okay ndanze coach mr robot what keeps you going um i think what what's keeping me uh, going right now is i may feel a point yeah i think if him nilikuwa fikiria ni ni, ni ile circle yangu ndogo tu ina nijuaga but nimekuja ku nimekuja ku realize that there are so many people out there who are like looking up to you and uh, i think for me that keeps me going on every day so i need to learn i need to be better i need to help all those people so i think personally that's like the first thing that keeps me going every day when's your birthday i think it's mabakisha wiki mbili june 8th so june 8th is um my birthday um ulianza startup yes but sahi bado hatuja tuko tu chini ya maji so give us a new or something so we're like working on an mvp um end game ni maybe next step to ingia launch pad um tuone tuone like yeah i could say that we go early stages sahi but it's there to mwingine endele so nimesema hata personal questions are welcome so you can can ask me about my life juma nimeuliza swali kwa kwa chat sije yana umuliza je how much would i need to pay you to hire you <laughs> right now hata kusikiza umse umse yes no that's an interesting Allah. question hata na pesa so now judging from <laughs> judging from my uh, like last employers now mali like the amount of money i'm looking at that would be between like on the lower side 500k I'm a 600k. Record for how long? Ugandan shillings. No 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 not Ugandan shillings. So ni me code for how long? So ni me work for 2.3 years maybe. But generally ni called i think for close ibu ni how many years maybe 5 4 four, five, i think so that about still stuck at 500k ah idiot <laughs> me too man I'm, kwanza i'm looking um, for them by the way juma okay uh huh sigu said he started at 15k what did he start at i started at 90000 okay for my first three months Wait wait, umesikia yake ni 7k. No, kuna kuna mse. for I think 2 weeks. Uh akatulipa ibu actually tulilipa 7k wase watatu. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> kitu. Tukaanza na tukaenda. Ningepewa tu mzinga. Alafu kuna mse anasema ati kurudi figa. Twiga ni ka kurudi X. I don't think so. Personally, um like kuna zile companies zenye ume work with and going back is not a mistake in your career. It's a it's actually a learning process because we could just realize what's happening with most companies um so keep it like a better offer and they think ni kama unataka ku bribe eh? like niongezee pesa ama niende and then maybe you could leave and then the company feels like having you back even for that x amount of money is worth it so i think personally it was a good place so tika kurudia x yeye ni kurudia x ukienda kumoa um what do you do different from other programmers ah mimi nasemaga tunaishi vizuri ah 
Nambiaga nambiaga kijana wangu hapa hivi fulani. We only live once. Eh? Tunasamaga hata tukua na triso. Si tunachafua tena hiyo triso. It's not a waste move anyway. So, where's the compare other programmers? Um give us a clue of your monthly earnings. I, I think kitu niliakaga Twitter na ikapata so many ninis. So, mmoja mauliza anataka kujua gross ama net ama ile kwa kujua nini? John Elvis. Ah, uh, ile check ya ni kiingia inaingia ngapi pesa ngapi? Okay. So Peyango branch ilikuwa exactly 577. Alafu kuna msema niuliza. Kuna msema niuliza hapa, would you get drunk on your birthday? Ile ya kubebo. Eh. Ah, <laughs> so last year nilizima by the way. Um bad mistake from a friend. I can invite utawala. I think your club inaitwa <laughs> Rocky or something. Ah uh, I think nilichapa shot ini ama tatu. Sikumbuki hazi stani zilipita ine. Nilizima ile design hata sikujua nilipack gari wapi. So yeah. Lakini hii mwaka hii mwaka tukunywe. Um na birthday zangu I think zinakuwa different. I just try to do something uh different like making a donation to a children so ama kusaidia mse na school fees blah 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 that kind of a thing. Kukunywe kwa gi story yangu. And then uh ngoja mse naandikaje mzinga wangu black current okay yeah mimi kunywa black current sana um nani mwingine um juma yeah? yote tafuta na angalia general reactions <laughs> hapa za salary so <laughs> my my comment is if you're working on a startup yenye co funded mm-hmm. most of the time yeah. that is not an outrageous salary that is what you're going to be paid Yeah and uh, I think one thing people miss about my pay at branch was so branch branch to recruit ilikuwa na recruit engineers wa kwenda SF so my initial offer from branch was actually like a relocation offer so I had to pack and move to SF but uh, I think personally I feel that was, I wasn't ready for it um so we we got in as two engineers actually one Mexican so the Mexican took the relocation offer so he moved to SF and um if you look at that money in San Francisco you maybe ni rent so you actually cheap labor but i think the way you look at it in this kenyan market you actually overpaid so i think kuna that side in here. people need to understand yeah and uh, kuna dem flani tukiongelea tu story ya salo kuna dem flani tu alisoma na sisi after mm-hmm. amesoma na sisi aka get job aka enda maju yeah ba uh, alienda nini north america then yeah. her starting salary ilikuwa 700k yeah yule mtu mara ya kwanza yule ana... mtu mara ya kwanza mara but no, if you look at the mefunza unaona exactly and then if you look at that 700k now look at the cost of ex- cost of living uh it's so expensive i don't think for me it make any sense well of course ninge and self maybe ninge ana much better figure but if you just look at that uh personally siko na it makes sense and then if you if you actually looking at uh investing here yeah, kidogo kidogo then i think just thing and getting so much money is it's a good thing for you yeah um, alikuwa anasema hata nyumba alikuwa anatafuta hao ni 150k exactly exactly so na 150k unaenda unaishi kilimani uko hivyo very fancy houses so i think personally like just that cost of nini it makes sense for me so I, like the much times in mendo uko like my first uber trip was 15000 alone so i can tell you for sure it's, it's so expensive kwangu miss kwa na iki iki like iki ikipo ile ayo ile ayo eh ile ayo na hapana hiyo ni i was too broke hiyo una kwa hiyo hey hiyo ni hiyo ni shida mmm alafu kuna mtu anasema hapa nimesikia fununu unarudi shule tutanue yeah um nilikuwa ni enroll shule ah but now since because a uh, job yangu branch ilikuwa so flexible nilikuwa na work jioni so mchana yote nilikuwa free nilikuwa ninaingia shule but nilikuwa ninaingia fresher na nilikuwa nifanya ni engineering course but i don't think that's the case anymore uh, because of imani nate so alafu kuna msana ni uliza what's your opinion advice on dropping out of school me me will say don't drop out not unless maybe kuna a very solid reason or a very good job or something plus i think in my case um I really have a very uh 
uh, chill done. So my dad was like, you're going to you're going to drop out of school, that's your problem. If you come back to the school fees, my dad like, wow, pana, we'll talk, yeah. So I think Pia, Lazima, Lazima kuwa ila support from your parents. Still a decision in you una tokaga shule alafu una utafanya nini ukitoka. If you're not going to work, then I don't think it's a waste decision. Um alafu Okay, nime skip this zingine. Uh what do you do if you get a project as a beginner and you don't know where to start from? Uh, I think you also only have the answer now. Just look for someone else. Maybe another kuwa kona an idea of how to do that your solution. Like msa another kuwa kona another kupa idea, and then maybe another fanya pe programming. Maybe you can the basics of what you need to do or what you need to learn. Like someone to just point you in the right direction. Um, um msa na samat parana ni maaten sawa. Ina shida uta nipata tu apa. Um uh sioni maswali zingine zinaendelea uh-huh. actually nadai nadai ku funga officially the not on is endele na story si ndio okay sawa haya sawa sawa so uh, kwani okay mko time zone gani cause kuna watu wana join saa hii akina mabu <laughs> amejoin like 10 minutes ago ni kama tuliwapatia the wrong time <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, ambulance, please no people. Niko TZ, sawa? Hiyo story ishe. Haya <laughs> 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 I don't know. Aya, so thank you very much. <laughs> Asante sana kwa kukuja. See I'm not ending this call. I'm just trying to sign it off so that tunaendelea na some other questions. So Fun Friday is a program that we normally organize. Tuna what tunaongea Kiswahili. That what tuna insist all the time. So tunafanya Fun Friday kutupatia place ya kushare tu vitu tumekuwa tukifanya throughout the week ama throughout our career as devs si lazimi kuange vitu tech so zinakwanga tu vitu general kabisa then um, it should be as relaxing as possible if una feel tension ama kitu kama hiyo then i think tu, tunafanya the wrong thing then niku network hapa nimekuja napata norman yuko monique yuko tabi yuko magak Mato, Nicole, Mavo, as in almost um, kuna, kuna demuje in killer time Anaitua Ivy ama Kendi pia ndo ya na join Anaitua Ivy ama nani? Yes, Ives She joins all our nini All our fun Fridays So it seems it's working out Shout out Shout out to Ives Ooh. For joining our fun Fridays Tunaifanya after every two weeks so, You want to come up by the way Yes, yes, Chantel. Anataka tupige consistent emails kwa DMs. So nice okay. thing. Alright, nice. So kwa wale hapo kwa tukianza ni kwa nasema hii tuta upload to YouTube. Tukisha upload, tuna extract the video tunaika kama podcast just in case unataka tu kuisikiza outside so tutakuwa tuna upload hizi it's over every two weeks so for next week tunaenda ku discuss kuna devs who feel wamekwama as in unaona ni kama how grow anymore in your career unaona a hey, place sioni ama kwenye nimefika what can i do next so hiyo ndio inaenda kwa our focus of discussion yeah next time so what can we do do we how, how really do you improve yourself as a dev ndio kuwe relevant for about 20 30 years time utakuwa manager ama utakuwa nini so hiyo itakuwa 2 weeks from today most of the time watu nafungua you just talk but tukiwa wengi sana pia ni ngumu ku control 
So right now nataka kufungua flow. Ask Juma anything, ask anyone anything. Tunaweza piga tu story as much as we want. Any personal question? Uh, inanza what time? What inanza for that in the evening? Kuna watu walikuwa shaanza ku ku complain at 4:30 ni late wanaitaka 3:30. So uh Chantel will send out um a feedback so mtupatie feedback yenu kama mnataka ati watu wa complain sumaona tu masaa zao za kuingia yeah nimeona time wanaingia so let's see uh, what works best for everyone because this is a nini a channel for everyone at least ya ku discuss so thank you very much for attending for the regulars tuliambiwa tuwapatie zawadi i can just clap hakuna kujaribiana corona Thank you very much. So tunaweza endelea Norman and then you just a nini? Ha? Ndaranda itaje hapo. Aya sawa, tuendelee Juma, endelea na session yako. Aya, kuna okay, sawa. Acha ni kuna yenye imeanzia hapo hivi. Nimeuliza ndaka ku gain experience na niko na skill na niko na team. Ndadwaje. So uh acha ni ku first story ya best yango ni Dago Chris. So Chris Chris I think aliingia Ndela kama technical team leader kiwa 19 ama 20 i think is the youngest mwenye nishika na amefanya such a thing um so usiangalie age kama uko na experience kuna opportunities out there na ni mingi sana so yep and then uh kumsema uh, leader juma juma kidogo tu uh, before you continue uh, jpia mimi hata hata mimi nataka kutoka kidogo okay juma msaya kafi na like So uh mm -hmm. I just wanted to tell everybody that uh next week I will be hosting Juma in my new series of webinars to make one more leo next week I'll be hosting Juma uh Juma will be bringing us a guest from the US uh, Juma anaitwa aje uh Madonna Sumbua Yes uh apart from that tutakuwa tuna join you pia na a lady called Nishu from India and uh, a guy from the US also called George uh tutakuwa tuna chambua all things android and web so it will be actually right before this this body call so i think uh in as a bakituma liko jetu ni 3 to 4 and then actually i've seen some more, very many guys wenye tumekuja nao from that other call because you have yeah kind of tumefanya migration tukakuja huko So yeah, uh, I'll be posting around and we'll be doing rounds. So you're all welcome. Najuma pia you know, that that will be kind of a little serious. So pia mkita kwa the professional side of Juma and everything. Uh, you'll be welcome. Hey, Ruben, so, you can send your link ndio to share na kila mtu mwenye ali attend hapa just in case they are interested to join. Yes, yeah, I will. I will. Thank you. I will. Aya sawa. No wonder I'm linking a new watch at the same time. Sawa. Yeah. Tulikuja si watu tulishare the link. Ah, nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, alafu kuna ya would you be open to mentor beginners? So I think the answer to that is a yes, but a no because um say say like on a normal day, kama nime save number yako unaona ga singine nimeandika nime mark over 200 chats as read because um like wase wengi like wase wengi wana reach out na different problems. Na kinyo nimekuja ku realize ni this is idea kila mtu na unapata by the time ni jibu chat yako maybe ni after two days ama three days na nimekuwa tu nikizipitia ni venye nikiweka simu yangu kando for like kanawa nikirudi nikiwa na so many chats hadi nimechoka nazo so i think kinyo naambiaga mseni kama wewe ni beginner the best person na kusaidia si expert ni mseme mwenye amefanya hiki kitu for like an year or six months ah uh, oni msa kwa available any day any time atakusaidia but kuna zile shida zenye unataka tu uliza msi specific ukiricha vitu kama hizo ni sawa um singine so naza kosa like naza kosa do your time kusaidia kila mtu like every day so singine so, wasa ta realize ila chat yako imekuwa marked as red juu kama sasa nikiweka status kama example hii talk nilieka status nikasema link iko kwa hiyo twitter ama kwa image and then ilipata over 300 messages wasa kiniambia ni watumie link so singine so, hata but the latter will reply to unaenda tu na mark that it was red because singine so, ni au na your time as much as ningeda kukusaidia but time yenye ni kwa available for sure or let you do whatever it is kitu kama hiyo 
Juma, naweza ongeza on that. Kuna msemaji yeah. sema mentors okay, hii na kwangu opinion yake. Mentors are overrated according to him. So yeah. what he says is you need to look for someone who is your yeah. hero. Exactly. So, a hero doesn't know that doesn't have to know that you're there. Exactly. You just look up to him. Yeah, just look up to that person, see what they do and how they do it, then do it like them. You will Yeah. 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 And na kitu nimejaribu kufanya na wengine ni hata hata unaona kama msa kiniuliza like interview yako ya branch ilikuwa aje vitu kama hizo. Like unapataga hizi interview zote zenye mimi sit for kama ni technical and I've worked on a project or a solution udaipata tuko gita page yango like the whole project that I worked on na I think magak ni kama anakuwa ni kama anakuwa na notification and keka hiyo alipo na ambia buda umeka ta read me for us jini nini so I try to just document my thought process kenye tu magak alikuwa anasema so sasa ingine ukiniuliza hata kitu naweza kurefer tuko hiyo alipo nakwambia waende upitie this is what I worked on um yeah so mnaweza kuja na maswali personal by the way si lazima mniulize tech because na filigi sijui watu ni kama wanaona ni kama maisha yangu inakuwa watu kwa tech peke haikuagi hata tumeshangaa unaweza kuwa heartbreak <laughs> ah buda huko nje huko nje street ni, ni mbaya sana Eh eh bonde credit ni na watu wana personal questions kwani wewe 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 enable video Eh nimeoga nimeoga actually before he call. Oh. Ah, no time. Pana hizo za personal zisikuje hapa. Sikia tu kitendani anauliza tabi surely. Wewe Monique kwani wewe ni bibi ya Juma. Kusini yeye tunauliza maswali. Ni recording, si ndio? Eh hii kitu inakuwa recording. Stop the recording. Guys, stop the recording. Just about to tell you to stop it then nika realize maybe you kwa wewe. Okay, now stop recording please, Zigu. Na kwa watu na personal questions za watu ugo.